after everything we've been through that we've been able to get through it and that we made it here and that anything anything's possible. So I think it's gonna be really cool and even though it's just gonna be broadcasted on TV, I think it's still gonna be really cool that everyone can just see that we're there and we made, we made things happen. So we had the postponement with the Olympics and I had to decide basically if I was gonna continue and do gymnastics or if I was gonna go back to college because I still have my senior year and finish school. And so I decided to stick it out another year. Obviously, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I had a bone spur um, in the back of my ankle, so that was causing my Achilles to hurt and just a bunch of different things. So I was off for a really long time for that. Then, right when I started to like get back into the grind of things, I got COVID and then I got, I was sick for like two weeks, really, really bad. And then kind of tried to slowly come back into gym. And I think I just came back too fast and then got the pneumonia. And then I was out for like a whole nother month after that. And then we were kind of starting to get ready to go into season. So I was like, am I even going to be ready for any of this? Like, I don't know how COVID is going to react or if I'm going to have any problems after this. But thankfully, I was able to probably after like a week of just kind of slowly pushing myself, I was like, OK, like this isn't that bad. Like my body remembers what I'm doing. And it's so crazy because out of my whole gymnastics career, I've never been out this long from gymnastics. So this was something new for me to have to handle and deal with. And I just was really struggling, but I feel like I was able to push myself and the hardest thing about coming back was just getting the endurance. So other than that, I feel like it's been, even though it's been quite the journey, I'm so glad that I pushed through it and was able to make the Olympic team after everything I've been through. So I feel like if you want it bad enough, anything's possible. It's gonna be weird going back to full mask mandates and then we can't even go anywhere or do anything. So I think that's just gonna be the hardest part is being able to like, you know, be in Cho Tokyo and seeing everything in the car and then you just go straight to the hotel and then straight to practice. So I'm gonna be really sad not being able to like tour and go do a couple things, which is gonna be a bummer. You know, we're kind of just gonna probably watch movies and play cards. I don't know <laughs> what we're gonna do with our free time, but um, yeah, I'm not super excited to go back to the restrictions, but um, I mean, you gotta do what's safe for the athletes, so. Blood, sweat, and tears, it's been hard, it's been miserable, but you know, there's been glory in all of it. And you know, I finally, after all these years, after working my butt off, I've finally made the team and get to say I'm an Olympian. This is something really cool that I've always, always dreamed of. And so I'm just, I'm just thrilled that I even got to be a part of the, the Olympic team and get to say I'm Olympian forever. So that's, you know, not many people get to say that. So it's definitely really something that's really, really special.